Greetings to all. Today, we will talk about how you can combine the departments you are studying with your stock market hobby. Before starting the video, I would like to point out that this is not an investment advisory video. Our priority here is to offer you perspectives on different career advice. If you like this video and subscribe to our channel, you can support us for more creative content. Become an analyst using sectoral specialization. Our priority here is to use sectoral specialization and become an analyst. What are we talking about here? We need to open up a little more. Namely, with the Robin Hood still practices in America, stock market and stock investing has become much more commonplace for the normal public. This, in turn, makes many more people curious about the stock market. The problem here is there is no quality information that can feed large masses of people. By quality, I mean in a sectoral sense. Maybe when they do the very deep research, they can get some sectoral information from the balance sheets of the companies. But considering that the normal people are dealing with other jobs, it's not possible to read the balance sheet that much. Therefore, they need someone who provides them with sectoral information flow. For example, there is a need for qualified and not very deep content written by people who dominate the sector about what's going on in that sector and what future-oriented plans can be made. As my personal observation, I don't think that the current intermediary institutions can fully meet this need. Their priority is to examine the balance sheets of slightly more popular companies and make comments on them. I see this as normal because the main job of those institutions is not to add sectoral or future-oriented information, but to enable people to invest easily and with minimum cost. But on the other hand, there is such a need. Therefore, you can offer the solutions you can develop in this regard to the institutions we mentioned as an outsourced solution. This sector may be directly related to the department you are studying, or there may be other files outside of that department. The reason why I made a special video for this section is to give you a different perspective. But this perspective doesn't necessarily have to be from the window of your section. Our aim here is to be the first name that comes to mind in the sector where we produce content. It doesn't matter which sector it is, its size, etc. The key is to be a generic, generic brand for anything. You can do this with your own name or with any brand name you create. After identifying Identifying the sector, we first did a lot of reading to expand our knowledge base. On the other hand, we will look for ways to market this information. I think Twitter is one of the best tools at this point. For information about the sector you will spe specialize in, the future of that sector, developments in the sector, etc. You can get yourself a finer audience by sharing all these on Twitter. After creating this finer audience, you will come across multiple revenue models. The first is email subscription. Especially in the American market, this model is becoming more and more popular, and we will probably see it as 
one of the more popular income models in almost every country in the coming years. In this model, you will send the larger portion of your content to your email subscribers and in return, you will receive donation and or subscription fee. Substack and review, review can be good alternatives in this regard. You can also consider options like Patreon if you want to make this revenue model donation only. Another valuable income model is stock brokerage firms, as we just mentioned. If you have a good audience, such brokerage firms can offer you freelance and or part-time job opportunities because your content will be a good marketing tool for them. This much you can manage them simultaneously with an email subscription or you can manage them in different processes. For instance, at, at first you can uh, you continue with the email subscription for a while and then you turn off the email subscription when stock market moves to the intermediary institution. The goal here is to save time and strive for growth. At this point, one of the questions may be, well, sir, how is this different from investment consultancy? After all, it's not our business. Yes, investment advisory is not your business and our purpose, purpose uh, here is not to, be, here is not to uh, provide investment advice. Our aim is to make people understand the industries because when investing the sector in which the company is located is as important as itself we the people we will tell you the position of that sector and the way it will go investors will also use that uh, what we have said uh, as a tool however investment advisors don't give tools they give direct output this is the difference between the two professions. How will the presence of industry experts like you affect investment advisors? Will you rival them? Actually not. They will still keep their place. But there is something we have mentioned in many videos. The cake is growing. One of the areas where this cake grows in the world of finance. Therefore, as the cake grows, the slices become larger. You can be in one of the groups that can get these extra slices. Robert Kiyosaki, with his book Rich Dad and Poor Dad, Morgan Kozel, one of the other hand, took different slices of his growing cake with his book, The Psychology of Many. You can also apply for another slice. I think the concept of popular finance will be discussed more in this context in the coming years. Just as there is popular science, popular finance will be needed. As you can be the spokesperson of this popular finance, you may be one of those who paved the way were there. This is a bit of your strategy. It also depends on market conditions. The purpose in popular finance to present the information available to people in the simplest, plain and aesthetic way. Because those financials and statements are complex enough. Someone needs to simplify it. In fact, there is a concept that we emphasizes in many of our videos on this subject, creation economics. Yes, the information itself is important, but now the importance of that information proportional to the value people place on it. Therefore, that knowledge it needs to be understood, internalized, and demanded 
by the general public. Comprehensive and technical information will still be produced, but the detailed part will be spoken by a much more distinguished group. The role, the role uh, we have assigned to you within the scope of this video is to internalize this work and tell it to the general audience. I think this could be a good career alternative because while doing this job, you can actually do other things on the other hand. So you don't need to be a full-time writer like this. Regarding this, the concept of side hustle has come to the fore in recent years. In other words, creating other income models without depending on a salary. Maybe you already have another job. You can earn more income by writing content on this subject from time to time. When we look at the ways of doing business of the future, we see that working full-time with a company will gradually decrease because hourly payment is a much more beneficial method for both companies and employees. On the other hand, you can actually make this side hustle model your main source of income in the coming years because it can enable you to do a global business. Of course, for this, you need to focus on YouTube a little more, not depending on Twitter. Because thanks to YouTube, you can adapt what you say to different, to different languages and reach people all over the world. Moreover, a diploma equivalency is not required here. For instance, a finance magazine published in a different country in the world will not question the equivalence of your diploma when asking you for a monthly column. You will write your letter and get your money. At this point, although YouTube seems like a sufficient channel on the, its own, I think it would be good to multiple channels. Essential, especially Twitter and TikTok can be a tool that fits your YouTube channel in your work. Of course, managing so many different channels can be a bit difficult. After all, they all have their own different dynamics. Therefore, it's very valuable for you to progress within the scope of a strategy in your studies. For example, it could be something like you prepare your sexual information plus stock market oriented content and add subtitles in many different languages. One or, one or two of them stand out in particular. In that case, you can also start producing content for those two or three foreign languages without wasting time for other languages. There is no clear answer to this because it may vary according to the sector. Seeing this by uh, trial and error will give more accurate results. Or, for instance, another point of view, maybe you can interpret several sectors, not just stick to one sector. There is not that much content in the sector you focus on. You can also try such a method to use social media more actively. In this way, it's possible to develop various end-to-end -end integration solutions over time. The subject of your own name or brand name gains a bit of importance here as well. When you do it with your uh, own name, it's difficult to find investment in these works. But when you do a with, it with uh, a brand name, you can get investment after a few years and turn this project into a startup. In fact, that's exactly what you are uh, aiming for your, in our weekly career management tasks video series. It's not realistic to make clear decisions at the beginning of your career. Instead of with weekly career management tasks, you should discover new areas and try those areas practically. Use.
you can position the skill set in your hand at the most accurate points. When this is not a case, when this is not the case, that is, if you don't position your skill set with the knight points, right points, this time you may start to think that uh, that skill set is insufficient. How will the presence of industry experts like you affect investment advisors? Will you rival them? Actually, no. They will still keep their place. But there is something we have mentioned in many videos. The cake is growing.